So I think one of the biggest things that entrepreneurs face today is they get going self-starters, they're self-motivated, and that is absolutely fantastic. But one of the biggest problems is releasing what they're doing into somebody else's hands and letting them take over and help. A lot of entrepreneurs have a huge control issue and are afraid to let anybody else come into their business and help them expand. Listen, if you want to scale in whatever you're doing, I don't care what business is, you cannot be the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. You have to get some assistance and you have to get some help in order to scale your event, in order to scale your business, your construction business, your gas station, no matter what it is, any business you have, you're going to have to get help. Now, I know it's really hard today to find great help to find good employees, but there are tons of people that are dying to work and will do whatever it takes to work and perform for you. So what you wanna do is when you're looking for good people and when you find that good person, grab a hold of them, take care of that person and they will be loyal to you for life. Now, when I say take care of somebody, it's not just monetary wise. There's not a lot of people out there that are just driven by money. A lot of entrepreneurs were driven by money, were driven by success. Um, whereas the employee mindset, some of them are just driven by, hey, thank you for doing a good job, giving them, uh, giving them uh, the right credit where credit is due. A lot of times entrepreneurs don't do that, is they have, uh, employees or they have business owner or business partners or they have um people that are working for them that give a great idea that gets implemented but they don't give the credit to that specific employee and say hey thank you for giving us a better way to cut expenses or thank you for giving us a new product or new revenue stream so when you're an entrepreneur one of the best things that you can do is reward your employees reward your independent contractors let them know that they're doing a great job let them know that they're they're absolutely coming up with great ideas, great innovation. They're helping the business grow and show them how they're helping the business grow as well. For me, what I like to do is really motivate my team and show them what difference they're making. Meaning when they're at an event and we're selling a student and a student is on the fence and then all of a sudden one of my reps closes that student, you wanna let them know, hey, that's an amazing job. You just changed that person's life and their financial future. Now, it's not just about money, as I said. Um, some people are driven by money, but a lot of people are driven by recognition, recognition and just a little bit of that a boy. So if you're a business owner, make sure you recognize your team and make sure you let them know how great of a job they're doing, how they're making a difference, how it's impacting the company. I hope these words of wisdom helped you out today. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.